Welcome to the channel, ProMedia87. The Lockheed S-3 Viking is a crew of four, twin turbofan engine-powered jet aircraft designed and manufactured by American aerospace manufacturer Lockheed Corporation. Due to its distinctive sound, it was nicknamed War Hoover after the brand of vacuum cleaner. The S-3 was developed in response to the U.S. Navy's VSX program to obtain a replacement anti-submarine warfare aircraft for the Grumman S-2 tracker. In the ASW role, the S-3 is equipped with an automatic weapon system and is capable of extended missions with in-flight refueling. On entering regular service during February 1974, it proved to be a reliable workhorse. The S-3 was retired from carrier carrier service in January 2009, its mission has been taken over by various aircraft, such as the P-3C Orion, P-8 Poseidon, Sikorsky Shish-60 Seahawk, and Boeing F-A-18E, F Super Hornet. Over the decade following its withdrawal from frontline duty, several S-3s were flown by Air Test and Evaluation Squadron 30, VX-30, at Ventura County Naval Base, Nas Point Magoo, California, to conduct range clearing and surveillance operations in NAVAIR's Magoo Point range. This last example in U.S. Navy service was recalled in early 2016. Subsequently, one S-3 was operated temporarily by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA, at NASA Glenn Research Center, at one point being the last operational aircraft of its kind. NASA chose to retire it during mid-2021. After their withdrawal, most of the S-3s were kept while options for their future were investigated. During the 2010s, Lockheed Martin proposed repairs and reactivation to perform shipping duties on board carriers. The Republic of Korea Navy also had plans to operate a number of revived S-3s to perform ASW missions, however these plans were scrapped in 2017. Development. The Lockheed S-3 Viking is a conventional monoplane with a cantilevered, very slightly swept shoulder wing with a leading edge angle of 15 degrees and a nearly straight rear edge. The aircraft can accommodate four crew members, three officers and one enlisted, with the pilot and co-pilot, tactical coordinator, COTAC, in front of the cockpit and tactical coordinator, TACO, and sensor operator, SENSO, in the rear. Entry is via a hatch, folding ladder down from the lower right side of the fuselage behind the cockpit, between the rear and front seats on the starboard side. When the aircraft's anti-submarine warfare, ASW, role ended in the late 1990s, the enlisted Senso was removed from the crew. In a tanker crew configuration, the S-3B normally flies with a pilot and co-pilot, COTAC. The wings are equipped with leading edges and fowler flaps. Spoilers are mounted on the upper and lower wing surfaces. All control surfaces are actuated by a dual hydraulically driven irreversible system. In the event of multiple hydraulic failure, the Emergency Flight Control System EFCS, enables manual control with greatly increased stick force and reduced control authority. All crew members sat in 00 ejection seats, Douglas Escapac facing forward and pointing upwards. In group eject mode, starting ejection from one of the front seats ejects the entire crew sequentially, with the rear seats ejecting 0.5 seconds before the front seats to provide safe separation. The rear seats are capable of self-ejection and the ejection sequence includes a pyrotechnic payload stowing the rear keyboard tray away from the occupants just before ejection. Safe ejection requires seats to be loaded in pairs and when flying with one crew member aft, the empty seats are ballasted. On August 4, 1969, Lockheed's design was selected as the winner of the VSX contest. An order for eight prototypes, designated YS-3A, was immediately received by the company. On January 21, 1972, the first prototype made its maiden flight in the hands of military test pilot John Christensen. Flight testing went quickly without major problems. Two years later, the S-3 entered operational service with the U.S. Navy. During the type's production run, which lasted from 1974 to 1978, a total of 186 S-3s were built. The majority of the surviving S-3 as were later upgraded to improved S-3B variants, while 16 aircraft were also converted into the S-3A Shadow Electronic Intelligence ELINT, collection aircraft. Design. The Lockheed S-3 Viking is a conventional monoplane with a cantilevered, 
very slightly swept shoulder wing with a leading edge angle of 15 degrees and a nearly straight rear edge. Its twin GETF 34 high bypass turbofan engines mounted in underwing nacellas provided excellent fuel efficiency, giving the Viking the required long range and endurance, while also retaining relatively tame engine out characteristics. Operational history On February 20, 1974, S3A entered service with 41 Airborne Anti Submarine Squadron, Shamrocks, at Nas North Island, California, serving as the initial S3 fleet. Replacement Squadron for the Atlantic and Pacific. Fleet to FRSA Separate Atlantic Fleet, VS-27, was established in the 1980s. Viking's initial operations were somewhat problematic in a carrier environment, its advanced mission system relying largely on the mission computer, which frequently wasted during pressurized catapult-assisted liftoffs, requiring the crew to restart and reload the software. Starting in 1987, most S3As were progressively upgraded to the improved S3B standard, which involved the addition of several new sensors, avionics, and weapon systems, including the ability to launch AGM-84 Harpoon anti-ship missiles. The S3B could also be equipped with a buddy store external fuel tanks which allowed the Viking to refuel other aircraft. 16 S3 as converted to S3A shadows for carrier-based electronic intelligence duties. Six aircraft, designated US-3A, were converted for special utility and limited cargo delivery requirements on board the carrier. The aircraft's missions then changed to sea-level search, sea and ground attacks, over-the-horizon targeting, and aircraft refueling. As a result, S-3Bs after 1997 are usually manned by a pilot together with a co-pilot, extra seats remain on the S-3B and can be used by additional crew members for certain missions. The Maverick Plus system adds the capability to engage the AGM-65E or AGM-65F infrared guided laser guided air to surface missile, and the AGM-84H, K standoff land attack missile expanded response. The SLAM, ER is a GPS guided, inertial, infrared cruise missile derived from the AGM-84 Harpoon that can be controlled by the flight crew in the terminal phase of flight if the A-13 data link pod is carried by the aircraft. Iraq War. S-3 was an active participant in Operation Iraqi Freedom, the U.S. invasion of Iraq. It mostly conducts intelligence and reconnaissance missions in support of other coalition assets. On one occasion, in March 2003, an S-3B Viking of Sea Control Squadron 38, Red Griffins, piloted by Richard McGrath Jr., from the aircraft carrier USS Constellation, CV-64, successfully executed a time-sensitive execution attacked, firing laser-guided Maverick missiles that neutralized significant Iraqi naval and leadership targets in the Iraqi port city of Basra. This was the first time the S-3 launched a laser-guided Maverick missile in combat. As the conflict continued, the S-3 was regularly used as a reconnaissance aircraft, often to identify improvised explosive devices, IEDs, and insurgents who planted them. During the flight, the aircraft uses the presidential callsign, Navy One. The aircraft flown by President Bush was quickly retired and on July 15, 2003, it was accepted for exhibition at the National Museum of Naval Aviation at Nas Pensacola, Florida. Between July and December 2008, Skakmat VS-22, the last Sea Control Squadron, operated a detachment of four S-3Bs from Al-Assad Air Base in Al-Anbar Province, 180 miles, 290 kilometers, west of Baghdad. The aircraft were equipped with LANTIRN pods and they performed non-traditional intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. After more than 350 missions, Checkmate returned to Nas Jacksonville, Florida, on December 15, 2008. Squadron disbanded on January 29, 2009. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.